What remains of the Penhallow Hotel is a very sorry sight indeed today. Now, the police on-site investigation has finished. They've taken away all the evidence they need, all the ash and all the rubble, and they're going to be sifting through it because, remember, they're still trying to find out what actually caused this fire. Now, there has been damping down going on on the site today. That's not because the fire is still burning. It's because of all the dust and the debris that's been blowing around in this quite strong wind. Now, away from here, a spotlight investigation has found that there are large gaps in emergency fire cover across the southwest. The region's three brigades are short of scores of part-time or retained firefighters. Let me take you around the region. In North Devon, there's what the fire service calls an urgent need for more staff from Woolacombe to Chumley. It can mean delays in fighting fires as crews have to be drafted in from other areas. The same is true in South Devon around Kingsbridge and Modbury and Solcombe. There are also some shortages in other areas of Devon. In Somerset, retained firefighters are also needed from Crewkern to Ilminster. In Dorset, there's what the fire service says there is a fairly urgent need for firefighters in Dorchester. And in Cornwall, there's an urgent need for retained staff in Lostwithiel and Callington. Spotlight's Louise Hubble now reports. It was one of the biggest fires St Ives had seen for years, and local people believe the retained firefighters were instrumental in saving a large part of the town. There were real fears a blaze would spread quickly along the narrow streets, but retained crews from St Ives and seven other neighbouring stations were amongst those bringing it under control. The aerial ladder platform brought in from Newquay played a vital role. Vanessa Martin was working in a neighbouring shop that day and watched as fire crews tackled the blaze. Uh, with the buildings being so close, they realised there was a very real danger of it spreading quite far. Um, and they were very, very professional. And for the retained fireman who was first on the scene that day, it's a job to be proud of. It's my town. I've been brought up here. Generations are here just to look after the property and the people that are here. I get a lot of it, really. I mean, in the current light as well, with what's happened up at uh, Newquay recently, I mean, the more people that get into it, the better, because it is, you know, it's a service that can sometimes be overlooked until the, the actual emergency goes up. Here in St Ives, they're lucky. It's an example of the retained fire service working well. But over in Callington, it's a different story. There, the fire service say the need for retained staff is urgent. Smoke billowing from the roof of the Heritage Centre in Callington. Retained firefighters were amongst the crews drawn from across southeast Cornwall who tackled the blaze. But an urgent need for part time crews here is causing real concerns. Jeremy Gist helped salvage documents from the centre that day and his fears about fire cover in the future. In the event of a fire, there is no doubt that seconds count. And the thought of having to have cover from 10, 15, maybe 20 miles away is obviously very worrying. And in Newquay, the Penhallow fire highlighted problems in retained fire cover, with there initially only enough retained firefighters to man one of the two appliances. That meant crews from further afield had to come, and that takes time. Louise Hubble, BBC Spotlight, Newquay.